We're going to take a closer look here in our area, the Monroe Street Midway in downtown Detroit, covered in that snow we got over the weekend and definitely a frosty. Seven First Alert meteorologist Marissa Wallison back with us now to tell us a little bit more about these dangerous temperatures we're dealing with. Yeah, unfortunately, we are looking at temperatures struggling to get to double digits across the region and wind chills below zero. So the snow that we have is not really going to go anywhere for an extended period of time. Even if you salt out there, salt really struggles when temperatures are this cold to actually melt any snow. Take a look at our lows this morning. We did fall to three below zero in the city of Detroit. That's the coldest we've been since uh, January 29th, 2022. So a little bit less than two years ago, we had a cold stretch towards the end of that month. We're also seeing a cold stretch, of course, right now. But our coldest spots this morning, at least here uh, through Metro Detroit, seven below zero in Ann Arbor. Adrian, you were also at three below. Pontiac, five below. Very cold conditions across the region. And we really haven't warmed up much this afternoon. Right now, we are still looking at temperatures in the single digits. We're six in the city of Detroit. Our coldest spot, Adrian, Adrian at three at this moment and our warmest spots. You can see Lapeer, Port Sanilac and Port Huron all at nine degrees. But when you factor in the winds right now, it's still feeling like five to ten degrees below zero. So limit your time outside. You could have the potential to get frostbite on any exposed skin with wind chills like this in about 30 to 40 minutes. So please limit your time outside. It is going to be a cold rest of the day. Highs will be near 10 degrees going with nine for the city of Detroit, but wind chills will be staying staying below zero, so just cold conditions overall. Thankfully, we're not dealing with any lake effect snow for us as winds are out of the southwest, but I am keeping my eye on a little bit of snow off farther to the southwest, which will be moving in as we head into the early morning hours of tomorrow. For the rest of the day, we'll have just increasing clouds as we head into tonight. More clouds and then some light snow arriving around about one or two o'clock in the morning. It will be out of here for the most part by the time we get to the morning commute tomorrow or you get your kids off to school, but it may be just enough to create some slippery road conditions across the region. Again, it won't be a lot of snow and the timing is early enough that things should be OK for the morning commute. But you can see we are looking at anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of snow in the early morning hours of tomorrow. So maybe you have to do some sweeping or a little bit more shoveling, but try to make those windows of time that you're out there a little bit smaller because it is going to be cold tomorrow. Tomorrow morning's low four degrees in the city of Detroit will be anywhere from about zero to ten degrees to start off the day. A high of ten in the afternoon, but it will be cold with wind gusts back up near 25 miles per hour later in the day. Wednesday, we start at zero as we climb to 16 in the afternoon, a chance for a little bit of light snow late in the day on Wednesday. And there is our little warm up. We're talking with highs near 20 degrees. That is still about 10 to 15 degrees warmer than where we're at right now, but still also about 10 degrees colder than average. I don't see a significant jump in temperatures until Monday and Tuesday of next week. Alicia, we're going to get used to wearing those layers again. All right, Marissa, thank you so much.